substantial role, and I think that, that we have a responsibility. A lot of my esports colleagues, they travel up to eight, nine, maybe even more months a year, which is very straining. It's not something that a lot of us had planned. Drum Monster's gonna attempt to steal, but it won't be enough. To the people who think it's nerdy, I don't know. It's gonna take it flame. Oh! Them. They're living in the past. What is it like to be a caster? Okay, good question. Um, when a super sick play happens, you know, I get to be commentating the game and I can hear the crowd just go insane. He's picked up an AK as well and he's likely to stay with the pistol. Simple, he's up to the third and the AK pulled out. Oh my God, Simple. For me, specifically, I think there's lots of things that are special, obviously, the spectacle itself and seeing how the gaming industry has grown is really cool. Um, and obviously, seeing a team attain glory is awesome, but for me especially, it's when a super sick play happens, when one player pulls off some miraculous move or a play that shouldn't have won. To add my voice to it and add to the excitement of the moment and then hear the crowd just erupt, it's, it just gives me goosebumps. It's really a cool feeling. Taco down, Taco wins his battle down at the bottom of the It's a very welcomed, uh, you know, thing in our lives. I know for me personally, I love doing what I do. I didn't really do anything crazy. I just knew people and I was a competitor. And then one day they asked me if I was interested in commentating an event and I said yes. And it's been a blast. And I would definitely say today the process is similar, uh, but because esports has really matured and grown over the years, it's it's become a bit more of a challenge to get involved, right? Uh, credibility definitely helps. Like if you're a former player and you decide, okay, I want to commentate for guys just kind of in the community starting out, it's best to really just get involved at the ground floor, right? You have to get into it for the passion, get into it because you love it, and then from there, see where it takes you. Such a big gamble and look at FaZe unleashing from behind TSM, they are in such a bad spot now. Being confident in your own ability is, is a huge step and, and also just being willing to put in hard work, putting in a lot of graft and just trying to get yourself as prepared as possible for any sort of situation you may run into. If there's technical issues, if there's downtime, you're not just stuck there. Give yourself means to help your own content. I'd say these skills and the will to always want to get better um, certainly help out and also just the ability to be humble enough to look over your own content so you know going back watching over your own VODs um, and just being willing to you know be critical of your own work and not take offense at it it helps you get better incredibly quickly sometimes events don't come along all that often and they're based on your ability to secure employment for those events so sometimes you can be left a little bit short changed in the process one thing we gain is the ability to decide our career direction and have a bit of flexibility. You know, what game we want to work in, what kind of events we want to do, what kind of personality we want to be. Some casters are considered more popular than players themselves, and I think that's okay because at the end of the day, it comes down to personal marketing. Players already have a degree of marketing clout for being good at the game, and some casters already have a degree of marketing clout for being good commentators of the game. They gotta move quick right now. They're going for it. The defuse is already happening. Hiko, are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it. They win the round. Hiko picks up a triple A Cloud9 win it. What? You just have to be a boss at travel. You have to, you know, uh, be comfortable sitting still for 11 hours on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and complaining about airlines not updating their movie selection often enough. For me personally, for my job, I travel about four months a year. I know that that's even on the low side for a lot of uh, the colleagues that I know. A lot of my esports colleagues, they travel up to eight, nine, maybe even more months a year, which is very straining. And I think that's one of the biggest uh, downsides or challenges is the fact that you spend a lot of time on airplanes and traveling, um, and then you get off the plane, these very intense events on jet lag and on not a lot of sleep. And it does take a toll on your health when you do it an entire year. I miss almost every wedding, birthday, or personal um, family or friend event. On the other side though, I really can't imagine a bigger gift than being able to travel around the world, put on these events and provide entertainment and getting to meet and interact with people that share the same passion as I do and as we all do. So that's a huge plus that outweighs all of the negative, but the negative definitely takes its toll and you sometimes need a breather. 
you're going to be in the same room or a different room with the same people in a different country and so being able to you know maintain relationships and be a, a normal slash good human being is it goes a long way uh, in the casting circuit for sure camaraderie among the casters is a, is a weird thing we have that concept of banter you know this isn't like a peaceful group we go at each other we like to smack talk we spend a lot of time together so you naturally get on people's nerves you naturally are just going to have a day where you are annoyed by someone and uh, it's just it's just the small things that that really do make a difference between being sane and, and going insane when you're traveling and you're away from family and friends and girlfriends and uh, away from home as much as we are i mean we're all just hanging out talking about video games so we're all you know at the end of the day incredibly lucky and grateful and usually pretty happy we also know how to party that's for sure happy birthday my god <laughs> I think that, that upholding the integrity and the professionalism and adding to the value of, of viewership is a really important thing in an industry that's growing itself. So I think that it's, it's, it's a substantial role and I think that, that we have a responsibility and I think that it's a very, very cool job. I think that's probably the quickest way to give you an insight into what it's like to be a caster. <laughs>